Uh, we're a top five defense. Uh, them. Oh, they're a top five defense. Scoring wise. Um, <clears throat> I mean, anytime you score two goals at home, you should win the game, um, or you should feel like you have done enough to win the game. Um, like I said, whether whether it was uh, just deserved or otherwise, we we have fallen short tonight of securing the result. Um, whether it was getting a second goal or extending the lead by two when we had momentum with us, or whether it was the resilience and and uh, making sure we we fought through the moments and spells that they had in the game, which we expected. Um, either way, either way you look at it, we, we, we fell a little bit short today. I think it's really fine margins. Um, but yeah, I, it's okay for us to be frustrated. It, it's uh, it, it's an interesting message because we're 4-0-2 and, and under any normal season, under any normal circumstances, you'd be relatively pleased with that if someone offered you that after six games. But the standards are so high for the programme that we're, we're genuinely frustrated that we've, we've not got a 100% record right now and we've not taken advantage of the LMU performance and then again tonight we've had two incredible chances with seconds left on the clock and if that's what it takes that's what it takes so um, I want it to burn in them I want it to be uh, a situation where they feel unsatisfied and, and, and to some extent we try and take it out on ODU on Saturday. Concern in those situations or just bad luck? With regards to with the LMU and then obviously with today. LMU, I thought we were superb. We did everything but put the ball in the back of the net. Um, I thought it was probably our most complete performance in terms of the territorial dom dominance, the counter um, counter press and, and counter prevention that we showed. Um, yeah, it just sometimes it doesn't fall for you. Uh, tonight it, it does in the fact that we obviously we, we scored twice. Um, but yeah, to obviously concede the goals, concede as quickly as we did after the first one is something um, we should be frustrated with. Uh, and then, yeah, they had a little spell and we had to show some resilience and, and do a better job on a set piece and, and, and we didn't. You said earlier in the week that with the rankings this early, it's just kind of, you know, it is what it is because there's not a lot of games to golf. What was, what was the message to the team when you kind of saw the rankings earlier today? Was today kind of a prove it game? No, I mean, um, it's fine. Like, it's... Uh, they're not always going to get it right. Like the rankings and the RPIs couldn't be further from um, each other right now. And there's still a lot more that needs to come from the RPI. I think there's more parity in Division 1 this year. I think there's going to be a lot of upsets. And I think RPI is going to take a really long time to settle down. So, um, yeah, look, I, I think the group felt like we deserve to be one because it's felt like an extension of last year. It's felt like a continuation from last season. So we, we carried that with, with pride and we carried that with no burden of this weight of expectation or uh, any kind of imposter syndrome at all. Um, yeah, it, it was fun while it's lasted. We've got, to, we've got to work really, really hard to make sure that we're where we want to be at the end of the year now. Coach, kind of along those lines, though, uh, when you see what the rankings were this week after where, I mean, it's early in the season. I mean, you guys haven't even played a conference game yet, but do you almost have to kind of smile and ask yourself, you know, who did we tick off or something like that? Yeah, it's fine. I mean, we, we got a taste of that in, in week two, right? Yeah. We, we won we won two games and dropped a place. So um, it's okay. It's okay. We'll, we'll be where we deserve to be at the end of the year and as will pretty much every team in the country. So that's what counts. And as a former player, the delay before Sergio's uh, kick, is, does that put even more pressure on a very mentally tough situation? It does. It does. Uh, I mean, I've, I, I'll, I'll put it on record now. Video review, we're not ready for it at the college level, and it needs to be removed. Um, it's just hurting the game. It's hurting the fans' experience. Um, and, yeah, I'm not sure in that incident it's helping the players. That We just don't have the technical technology for it. Uh, we don't have the capacity to it. You've seen it. Um, be a burden, quite honestly, to, to the Premier League. Uh, we're trying to take away controversy. We've added it. Um, so the fact that we're trying to do it at the college level, with, with respect, it's just not, it's not, we're not ready for it. And then we go to Cal Baptist and they don't have it. So, um, we, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm confused and, and frustrated that the, uh, the decision was to try and add something that uh, in the richest league in the world, they've proven that they haven't got it right just yet. Good to have the focus of conference games coming up now. Uh, the, you, you know, ready, you can say, hey, now we're ready to dive into where we need to play really well. Yeah, we, we've um, you know we've had a good sample of of, of the gauntlet of the Sun Belt and and um, you, yeah we we've talked about this year coming away with coming away with as many trophies as possible and, and that's the first one we can get right is the regular season trophy. Um, we have an opportunity to start on the right foot. Um, I think our first game last year was Georgia Southern and we tied at home. Um, so to get off to a winning start against ODU, who right now have had a really good start to the season and, and sit quite nicely in the RPI, it's a really good opportunity for us on, on Saturday night. Got your question about Navarro. When, when you come here five years ago, and he, I'm guessing he's probably I mean, one of the first kids that you were able to bring in or somewhere in that, and you look at what he's, five years later, what he's doing now, and when you think back to what you saw five years ago, how much of a jump 
and an improvement has there been over that time? Yeah, I hope Sergio feels like he's a reflection of me, of Andy, of all these players that came before him that learnt along the way what it means to play for West Virginia and, and show with the way they um, approach the games uh, how much it how much it means to them now, how much value um, they place on their their time and. Um, you know, I think uh, it's part of the journey that I really enjoy as a coach is watching the players go through that process of almost falling in love with West Virginia, the state, the right. university, the program, um, the opportunity that they have as a result of it. Uh, and I think he's, he, his uptake is um, a collection of incredibly hard, incredible hard work for over a long period of time, um, but also a grown investment in what this is, right? Every player, I, I, I don't care who you are, every player comes to a program with a personal agenda. Yeah. They, they don't come because they're already in love with the state or the university or the program. They have to develop that part. And I think what's really unique about our staff and, and, and the makeup is we have Nolan from West Virginia and three of us that played here. Um, we like to think we do a good job of, of sharing our stories and sharing what it means and, and helping them understand how much they need to value it. And uh, yeah, I think, I think it's a reflection in, in Sergio's passion and Sergio's um, intent this year for the program. The reason why I kind of ask is because, I mean, college athletics being the way they are now with the board or whatever, what he's done, staying, mm -hmm. working, improving, mm -hmm. is kind of the rarity in today's game. I mean, I, yeah. I mean, it used to be like that 20 years ago. Well, we're getting deeper, so deeper into more of a philosophical question, yeah, okay. right? Yeah, sure, in terms sure. of, uh, yeah, generationally, um, are, are, are kids as resilient as they yeah. were before? Have we actually, as a result of some of the changes to the portal and things that we've um, provided, are we actually enabling, oh, when it's hard, I'll just go somewhere else. Yeah, so there's yeah. greener pastures. Um, every player's reality is whatever shortcomings they have at West Virginia, they'll still have them whatever other school yeah. they go to. And that's the same for players that sometimes transfer out. Um, it's, it's a tricky one because we we don't certainly feel um, you know with the shift in what's happened in the transfer portal and the um, if you like the, the status of the program that we're in the haves category um, we're an attractive and a, and a um, appealing uh, destination for a lot of players um, that have maybe done well at a smaller school and, and obviously look we've benefited that from from that from the likes of Simon Carson and Ethan Deckeldax and uh, Felix Ewald this year so it's a tricky one um, but yeah, I, I still think we have a really good group of, of, of core freshmen, uh, young domestic players that I, I'm looking forward to their four year journey and hoping that by their uh, junior senior year, they, they look like they look like yeah, Sergio. Well, I mean, he's an example. Of Perfect. Parents. Yeah. Um, it's early, obviously, but are you surprised by what he's accomplished so far? This well, early? I think a lot of people um, <coughs> have maybe overlooked just how good he was last year for yeah. us and, and his stats and his numbers last year were exceptional as well. So he's got off to a great start. Um, I'm sure he's he's hungry for more yeah. as well. Um, but no, there's not there's not one part of me that's surprised that he's found himself in the right place at the right time. We obviously pick a penalty taker before the start of the season, and uh, at, funny enough, at the time Marcus was out, yeah. Marcus was still injured, and, and 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 Sergio couldn't have been more stern and, and straight and looked me straight in the eye and said, "Yes, I definitely want to take penalties." So uh, good for him. He's got he's he's got another one today. Great. Thanks, guys. Cool.